Assalamu alaikum everybody and in this video we're going to be commenting on, on, on a long rant by our Mawla, uh, Mr. Shadi Hiris. He's going to be ranting about a quotation we have on our website and we're going to comment on his nice little rant. So let's see what he has to say. Okay, so this is their website as you can see 12 <clears throat> So uh, they're basically quoting uh, Sharif al murtada where he says that uh, he says, okay, I'll read to you. فَإِنِّي لَا أَزَالْ إِسْمَعَ الْمُعْتَزِلَ يَدْعُونَ عَلَىٰ أَسْلَافِنَا Meaning, uh, I am still listening, I am still hearing the Mu'tazila claim or a call or um, say a belief about our Salaf, about the people of Khum, the people who are the Shia. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا كُلَّهُمْ مُشَبِّهَ That they all used to be, how do we translate مُشَبِّهَ? Like someone who likens their Lord to their creation, to the creation. How do you translate Mushabbiha? Dude, you guys have made like a three hour video altogether. A huge three hour video in English, specifically about the topic of Tashim and Tashbih. And you're, you're wondering how to translate Mushabbiha? Someone who makes the creation like Allah. So then he says, وَإِسْمَعَ الْمُشَبِّهَا مَنَ الْعَامَةِ يُقُولُونَ مثل And I hear the Mushabbiha the people who are the Mujassima, the, the people who liken Allah to the creation, also claim that the early Shia used to have this belief. Okay? And then he says, وَأَرَى جَمَاعَةٌ مَنْ أَصْحَابِ الْحَدِيثِ مَنْ الْإِمَامِ يُطَابِقُونَهُمْ عَلَىٰ هَذِهِ الْحَكَايَةِ And I, I see a group from the Ashab al-Hadith, the people who narrate Hadith, from the Imamiya, who repeat or agree with them on this statement. All right, so based on this text, which he, which he just read, there's three groups who accused the Shia of being anthropomorphous, of being Tashsimis and Tashbihis. These groups are, first of all, the Mu'tazila, who used to debate them a lot. They had a lot of debate with the Shia. In fact, they intermingled a lot in a lot of these verses. The second group were, he says, al am meaning the mainstream Muslim, meaning the Sunnis. All of Ahlul Sunnah, the majority of the nation, also accused them of believing Tashim and Tashbih. And the last group are who? Are the scholars of hadith of the Shia. Meaning the Imam Shia themselves, they're scholars of hadith who transmitted their, their uh, narrations and have access to their books. They also said, yes, our ancestors believed in Tashim and Tashbih and they only switched after they got influenced by the Mu'tazila. Let's see what else he has to say. And they claim that when we interpret things metaphorically, we are taking this methodology from the Mu'tazila. So, as you can see, He says uh, to his teacher, I would, I would like for you to give me a hadith or, you know, a qawl or a, an opinion, something that refutes this. Okay, do you guys see anything other than that? You guys, do you guys see anything, any more Arabic? or any more translation, nothing. They completely left out the response. And you will see why we left out that part, because it simply doesn't add or subtract anything from the equation. We only took what we needed, which is the Sharif al-Murtada's admittance that the scholars of Hadith of the Imam Shia, and he's not saying one or two, he's saying the scholars, meaning a majority, all affirm that yes, we were anthropomorphists, and we took the belief of the Mu'tazila later on. That's all we needed. If they were to con include the full response, their entire article would have been refuted. If they would have included what Shaykh al-Mufid said to Murtada, Shaykh al-Murtada, uh, if they were to include it, the entire website would be, uh, sorry, the entire uh, article, rather, would have been refuted. Oh, mashallah, the, the next following two paragraphs are going to refute the entire website, uh, the entire article. The whole thing is going down after the next two paragraphs. Let, let's see what the next two paragraphs are. How, how, let's see this brilliant response by Al Mufid. I hope, I sure do hope he doesn't just deny it without providing evidence because I have a feeling that's what he's going to do. He says, Shaykh Al Mufid says, Our Salaf, may Allah have mercy upon them. There were not among our Salaf who believed in likening Allah to his creation by the way of meaning of these narrations. And in fact, they were against Hisham and his companions from a group from the followers of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. Look at this firm response. So he's saying, none of our predecessors believed in likening God to his creations. 
according to the literal meaning of the text. However, however, they were all also opposed to Hisham al Hakam and his companions from among the followers of Jafar al uh, So this is a self-contradicting statement right here. You just said none of our predecessors believed in anthropomorphism, but then you said our predecessors were against Hisham and his companions from the followers of Jafar al who also believe in anthropomorphism, knowing that Hisham is from your predecessors and his companions are from your predecessors and they're all imami Shia. All right, so I'm gonna now read to you the rest of what Al-Mufid is saying on page 79. He says, Faza'ama, <clears throat> meaning Hisham ibn al-Hakam claimed that God most high, Jismun lak al ajsam he is a body unlike the bodies. He is a body not similar to the rest of the bodies. This is what Hisham claimed, according to Al-Mufid here. وَقَدْ رُوِيَ And it was narrated أَنَّهُ رَجَعَ عَنْ هَذَا الْقَوْلِ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ And it was narrated that he had repented from this saying afterwards وَقَدْ اخْتَلَفَتِ الْحِكَيَاتُ but, uh, uh, but the stories have deferred because it's not known, he's saying that it's not known for a fact whether he returned or not and there is no evidence that he returned because the stories are different and he says afterwards وَلَمْ يَصِحَّ مِنْهَا إِلَّا مَا ذَكَرْتُ and what is out of all of these stories that are conflicting, nothing is authentic or correct except what I have told you. Meaning that Hisham claims that God is a body unlike the bodies. Then he says, Hisham, As for the refutation against Hisham, and negating the anthropomorphism, then there is countless narrations from the family of the prophets. I mean, there's countless narrations refuting Hisham al-Hakam from the family of the Prophet So then he goes on to narrate a hadith. He narrates a hadith which accuses Hisham ibn al-Hakam of believing in this. It says that one of the companions of the Imams walked in on him and told him that Hisham believes that God is a body because everything in the world is either a body or an action caused by a body. And the Imam gets so upset. He says, woe to him, waihahu. Does he not know that bodies are limited? So after that hadith, Al-Mufid says, فَهَذَا قَوْلُ أَبِي عَبْدِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ وَحَجَّتُهُ عَلَىٰ هِشَامٍ فِي مَعْتَلَّ بِهِ هِشَامٍ مِنَ الْمَقَالِ He says, this is the statement of Imam Abu Abdullah alayhi salam and his arguments against Hisham and his argument against basically the argument of Hisham and his opinion. So how then can we have taken uh, our opinion from the Mu'tazila? That is what he concludes with. Now, this is exactly why we didn't include this last paragraph, because the last paragraph, it doesn't really add anything. Al-Mufid still says that Hisham al-Hakam believes in Tashbih and Tashim. He says there's many stories, but what is correct is that he believes in Tashim, as I've said. And then he quotes a hadith, which is the exact same hadith we have on our website. So it's the exact, it doesn't add much. Why would we translate it again? It's the exact same thing. And then at the end of it, he says, how then should we, could we have taken them from the Mu'tazila? And he provides no proof. His only evidence is the hadith that he quoted, which condemns Hisham al-Hakam, and at the same time shows that the Imam doesn't believe in Tashim, which we as Ahl Sunnah also believe that the Imams were Mujassima. We don't believe the Imams were Mujassima. However, you guys, what happened there is, you had a lot of these narrations of Tashim and Tashbi, which your Mu'tazili influenced scholars dumped in the ocean. Your scholars omitted and deleted and got rid of all the narrations of Tashim in your books and they were full of it. And that's what I'm going to quote next. Because even a Sharif al-Murtada himself was not convinced by Al-Mufid's words. And this will be quoted in a bit. But let's keep watching and see what this guy has to say. This is Sheikh Al-Mufid who was telling you guys this. So I have a question to this team, these so-called researchers, these so-called people who are trying to call people to the truth. Why did you make Tadlis and leave out the section where the response is clearly given? Why didn't you show the full response, the full page, where Sheikh al-Mufid answers Murtada? And here we show you that al-Sharif al-Murtada wasn't even convinced, because in Rasail al-Murtada, he says in that book that the greatest amount of Shia fiqh, rather all of it, reaches us through chains containing extremists or Qummis, meaning the people of Qum, who believe in fatalism, Jabr, and Tashbih, anthropomorphism. He says the Qummis, all of them, with the exception of Ibn Babuya, he doesn't say uh, half of them, a quarter of them, he says all of them with the exception of Ibn Babuya, until just yesterday, meaning until just recently, were all Mushabbiha and Mujabbira, 
They were all anthropomorphists. Their books and works are a testimony to this. And this is the difference, and this is why Murtada was not convinced. He was being told by the scholars of Shia Hadith, and he had the books. Unlike today, the Shia did not preserve their books. Al Murtada had a ton of books of the Twelver Shia that we do not have on our hands today. So he knows, and he's coding those books, and he's saying, based on these books, they're all anthropomorphists. He didn't bring up the fact that there are only two groups who are spreading these rumors. The Mu'tazila and the Ashab al-Hadith, who are known as the people who liken Allah to his creation. These are the enemies of the Shia. These are the people who are against the Shia. These are the only two groups who have spread these rumors. Habibi, Mr. Shadi Hirz, please, why do you have to lie? That is the thing with your deviant sex. Why do you have to lie? Why are you saying only two groups? Just a while ago you read, a while ago, you read that those who are spreading it are the Mu'tazila, the Amma, he didn't say Ahl al-Hadith, so I don't know where you got al-Hadith from, the Amma are Sunnis, and the scholars of Hadith from among the Imamiyyah, he says the scholars of Hadith among the Imamiyyah were saying the exact same thing as the Mu'tazilis and the Sunnis. So why are you lying and saying no, that only two groups are saying this? SubhanAllah. Are you telling me that you're going to believe what the enemies say about a certain group? This is not research, my friends. This is not uh, unbiased, objective research. This is called playing with the people. This is calling. This is called lying on the people. This is called tadlis. He's saying that, and he just lied. Like he himself just lied like a, a second ago. He just made a lie. It's only two groups, even though the text is saying three groups. And he's saying the enemies, how can you take what the enemies say when his leader, Al-Murtada himself, was not convinced and he was saying their books... Their books, which they have compiled, are a testimony to this. So I'm asking you, where are those books? Why is it only that the books of Ibn Babuya, a saduq were preserved? Where is the rest of your books with all, with all this tajbi? Or is Al-Murtada also delusional and he's making hadayan and he doesn't know what he's talking about? You tell me. You tell me, Mr. Hirs.